Tanya. Hello, everyone. Check it, Tanya. Can we have the boat race today? Remember, if you're going to make boats and have a race, please. 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 Shana, please. <laughs> You'll have to wait, guys. Slow down a bit. We haven't even made the boat yet. Will it take us a long time? Well, I don't really know, but I've been reading up about boats in this book, and uh, it looks fairly easy. I made a boat at the dam once with some friends. I'm impressed. Then you can help us a lot. Well, actually, the boat sank as soon as we put it onto the water. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> what, what? Ron is trying to drown himself? How can that be? Huh? Why do they want to build a boat? Do they even know how to drive one? And I hope they know how to swim in case it sinks. What, what? Actually, the boat sank because it was too heavy. What was it made of? We found this old car wreck next to the dam, with one of the car doors lying beside that, so we tried to use that as a boat. No wonder it sank. Cars aren't known for their ability to float. They're made of metal. But so are some boats. Oh, yes. That's right. So why did it sink? There are probably many reasons. How do you know what kind of things will float? Well, actually, that's a good place for us to start with our boats. We need to find out what materials to make the boats of so they'll float. I'll tell you what, let's look around the workshop and see what different materials we have and which will float. Off you go. So, um, where will we try them out? <laughs> good question. Oh, wait, how about this fish tank here? The one that I'm preparing for the Jungle Cafe? So, what did you guys find? I think this bit of polystyrene is going to float. Oh, it's... There. Great. I think this piece of metal will definitely sink. Oops, just like Grin's boat. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, it looks like this will float. Oh, well, the problem with cardboard is it might float for a while, but because it's like paper, eventually it will get soaked, and when it does, it will sink. What's about this? What is it? Look, it floats. It's a piece of plywood. What else have you got? So plastic sinks too. Not all plastic. In this case, it could be the plastic sank because it was too heavy. So if things are heavy, they'll sink. If things are heavy for their size, they'll sink. Like that. It's quite small, but very heavy. True. And it must be the same with the stone. That's really true. So putty doesn't float either. No, not like that it won't. But watch this. See what happens now. Hey, how did you do that? Well, I made a hole inside this part of the putty and it had air inside. And because it has hair inside, it actually floated. Wow. And it works for heavy things too. Remember the piece of metal that Kristen put in the tank? Well, if I do this with a similar piece of aluminium, what I'm doing is making edges around it so that it can hold the air inside and I put it in the tank, see what happens now. Oh. Hey, that's awesome. So even metal will float if it's got air on top? Yes. But metal is heavy. Shouldn't it sink? You saw that it sank when it was flat. Now it's got these edges on it. I've actually trapped air on top of it, and so it will float. <laughs> hey, mommy! Yeah, but my man. Have you got the tattoo? <laughs> If I got the what? The tire tube, you know, the inside of the tire that we used to put round us when we were in the water so we didn't drown. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that for years. I think it's in the cupboard. Why? Well, I want to go swimming with the hyenas. <gasps> I'll be careful of those hyenas. If they tear the tire tube with their claws, then the air will come out. What air? The air in the tire tube. Hey, why is there air in the tire tube? Haven't you noticed that you have to blow it up like a balloon and then close the valve so the air is trapped? Oh, I just thought that was to make it bigger. Well, yes, it does make it bigger, but it also helps you float. What does? The air. So your whole body floats because of that little rubber ring around your middle? Yes. That can be true, Mevin. Oh. There's air all around us in this room. Why aren't we floating? Because... Oh... I don't think I've got enough energy to explain. Enjoy your swim. Oh. Hey. Mm -mm. You know, sometimes I worry about you, Mervyn. Are you okay? Ah. 
You see this bottle? I'm going to fill it with water. Okay, and then I'm going to put the lid on. I just want to fill it to the brim and put the lid on and put it in the tank. What do you think will happen? It'll sink because it's heavy. Okay, let's see. Our lid is tightly on and there goes our bottle. It sank. All right, and now we're going to put a bit of air in it. Take out some of the water. That's enough. Some more. I'm going to put the lid back on. What do you think will happen now when I put it in the water? Well, there's a bit of air in it, so it will float. Cool. Let's see. Well, it's sort of floating. Now we're going to put all of the water out. And let's see what happens next. Our lid is back on tightly. So you see, now we've taken the water out, it's very light and it's got lots of air trapped inside and so it floats. So, what will, you make, what will we make our boats out of? What have we learned about materials and floating? If something is heavy... For its size? Yes, for its size. If something is heavy for its size, it'll sink. But if you change the shape of the heavy thing, for example, metal, and make sides all rounded, chapping air, then it'll float. Definitely. What else do we know? Polystyrene and plywood are really good at floating. So I suppose we've got a good idea about how to make our boat float. Yes, yes, that's great, young lady, but we'll have to start working on them next time oh, because no. we've run out of time oh. today. float. They are going to make a boat that won't sink and they definitely won't drown. What what? So why don't you experiment with things? See what floats and what doesn't. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.